everyone. My name is Amber. I work for Christian County Library as a Youth Service Assistant at Nixa Community Branch. Today I will be teaching you how to make the pineapple string art. Uh, let's get into the project. So this is a very simple uh, project to do. Um, it really doesn't require a lot of effort and anyone can do it. Um, for those who receive a supply kit, what you'll receive is um, a wooden board with the pineapple design already um, nailed into it. And on the back is a uh, little uh, hole for you to hang it up afterwards, right there. Uh, you will also receive some yellow embroidery string and green too. And it'll come with um, some little mini instructions as well um, because it's a whole kit. Um, for those who do not receive a kit, you could make this on your own. Um, you could either go to a craft store and buy a design already made just like this and then what you would have to do is just buy your own embroidery string and whatever colors you like or if you wanted to actually make it from scratch you would just have to buy um, some kind a, of um, wooden board and then uh, you can actually google uh, string art um, on uh, just google or you can do it through pinterest and um, then just print it out. And then you would put that on a wooden board and get like one inch nails and hammer them into the design onto the board and then just weave the string in and out, which is what I'm going to show you how to do right now. Um, as you can already see, I've already started weaving my pineapple design, um, but I'm gonna go step by step and show you what I did. So to start out, um, I went around uh, the border of the pineapple so that I could see what it looked like. So I just went around um, the nails on the, um, the edge of the design. So I just went around all the, the pineapples along the edge right here. And you can see, you can already tell that this is a pineapple just from from doing that um it doesn't matter what color string you start out with that's entirely up to you uh this is a craft where um you make up your own rules honestly um you can weave it any way you like you can um choose any colors that you want to start out with. You can, you can even combine the colors if you wanted to, that's entirely up to you. Um, it's, it's very simple. Um, but that's what I did first. And, uh, I think that would be honestly the easiest way just so that you can make out your design, um, as you, uh, go along. So, um, to do that though, I started on this nail right here. And um, I double knotted the string onto it. So you wanna double knot it because otherwise it'll come undone as you weave through the other um, nails. So I'll just show you kind of what I've been doing with my design. Um, so I double knotted it here and then I just went around uh, to the other nails around it. And I just connected uh, all the nails with string so that they all um, just look like they all have string on them. So you just wrap your string around the nail head. And these nails are long enough to where you can even um, press down the string a bit if you want to fit more string onto it. It's up to you how much you want to want to weave and um, how much string you want to use too. Um, they'll fit, they'll fit quite a lot. So I'm just going like this and then you just wrap it around once and then go to the next one, 
wrap it around here like this. And then I just go to the next one, go here. And it'll probably come undone every now and again when you're doing it. Um, so then you'll just have to go back. See, mine just came undone right now. Um, but that'll, that'll happen. You just have to go back and redo it and just make sure you have a lot of, of slack so that way it doesn't happen too often. See, I'm just, I'm just weaving it in and out. So that way it just creates an interesting looking design. If you can't weave it around, just push the string down. You might get little snags too here and there. Um, it might snag on the nail a little bit, but you can kind of just straighten it out with your fingers. Gonna go through here like this. Get a little bit more slack. Then I'm gonna connect these two and connect the ones up here. to the end of my string um, like I said earlier you don't have to use it all if you don't want to but um, so I'm just gonna finish that up a little bit later but I'm gonna end right here because I'm going to actually use all my string for the yellow because um, I just I would like to see what it would look like with all of it on it. Okay. So I'm going to, I'm going to stop, but I want to show you what it looks like with the green and how to, how to connect the green to it. So I'm just going to grab my green string. I'm going to make sure there's no knots in it really quick. Just lay it out because I don't want any knots. Okay, I think it's fine. So I'm going to tie a knot first um, in my hand because I think it's easier to wrap it around the nail head. So there's my little knot. And then I'm gonna wrap it around this one right here. There, there's that and then double knot it so wrap it again okay and then um, I have some string here so I'm just gonna cut that cut that off okay tighten it as best I can and I'm just gonna go around the um, the crown so that way it looks like the crown of a pineapple And then I'm going to go around again 
because I don't want much of this. Oh, see, it'll come undone. It'll come undone for you too. So just, you'll just try to um, tighten it. Just pull. So that way that doesn't happen. Just tighten as best you can. Okay, there we go. So I'm gonna pull it tight right now so that doesn't happen again. All right, um, I'm gonna go around again. Because I want it to, you can even use your other fingers like I just did to push it down. Um, and now what I might do is, um, I think I'll just go to this one right here. Let me put it back. And the next one, bring it back. Now again, it's, it's up to you. Whatever you want to do, whatever design you want to create is up to you. I'm going to go up here, I think, and whoop, go up here. I'm going to push this down a bit. Cause because I want it to be on there really nice. I'm gonna go up here, go back, go up here. Okay, so I'm running out of string and I did that on purpose because I cut my string into um, different pieces because I wanted to show you what it would look like when you um, reach the end of your design and you have to um, tie it off to secure it. So um, I am going to uh, double knot it on the nail that I'm going to end on, which is going to be this one right here. So I'm just going to push these strings down a bit and I'm just going to see it's right here. So um, I'm just going to tie a knot right there. I'm, I'm pulling it as I'm doing it because I want it to be tight. Because I don't want it to cut all of these strings to come undone. I've even seen um, some videos where they glue the string onto the nails. So you could do that too. You could glue the string onto the nails. Okay, there. You see how I did that? I just knotted it and then pulled it. And I'm going to knot it again. Now there's a knot on it because I'm going, I'm ending it right here and then I'm going to do it again because it's not tight enough and it might come undone. And it's kind of hard to see with the, all right, so there's my knot right there. And I'm going to just attach it to the nail. There's two knots on there. And this string right here, that is too long. I'm just gonna cut that off. There you go. And uh, I still have some string left. So um, I want to, I do want to use this string. So I'll just start all over and grab some of my string again. Make sure there's no knots in it because that knots can be a little annoying, honestly. So this time I'm going to put the, the knot on this nail, um, which, you know, you don't have to do this. Um, I'm just showing you um, 
that if you uh, if you want to not use all the string and then later on you decide that you after you cut it that you you do want to use more you could go back and, and do that again you could just retie it and put it back on the nail There's that and then double knot it again and then just weave it in and out just like we did before but but as you can see here is our pineapple it's a pineapple string art once you're done, you can hang it up on your wall, or if you wanted to, you could give it as a gift to someone and show them what you created. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed making this craft.